Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Today we have been blessed with a side quest and chapter 18. I'm getting it done straight away because I'm thinking like, well if it's one of those areas where they didn't mean to do it and they released them both at the same time. We're going to be practicing legitimacy with Snape. A seven part storyline. The subquest is not like a one of four. It's one of seven, just a straight, no kind of like four parts. It's just task one of seven. So we've got a lot to go through. So I've got a lot of gems for it. And But you're thinking, which do we prioritize? Chapter 18 or, oh my God, look at it. Look at how they're trying to hook us in. Crushed. There is a commotion in the courtyard. Penny wants to investigate. You know what? I see, oh, it's, it's a lock in a heart. I thought that was an arrow and it going poof. I thought I was like crushed as in my back to get my heart crushed. I still feel like my heart's going to get crushed, so we're going to be getting into chapter 18 today. Learning some legitimacy from Snape. Snape, my old boy, what are we, what are we learning? Are you going to be, is this going to be nice, pleasant? It's not going to be, is it? Ready your wand, Hunter. What? Why? I thought you were going to teach me about legitimacy. You may use your wand to defend yourself however you choose. <laughs> I feel like I haven't done Snape for a while. I'm like, what does he sound like? Defend myself from what? What are you going to do? Break into your mind. What? Hold on. Let's... <gasps> the Germans. <gasps> oh, wait, wait. I'm so glad I picked up the racing first. Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Jacob! Penny! <laughs> no, father! I see you and your brother, five or six years old, pretending to duel with licorice wands. Mum always bought us licorice ones and peppermint toads. Get out of my head! Get out! You're older now. Your brother convinces you to sneak sickles from your mum's coat pockets. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Older still, you and your mother crying. This must be the day your brother went missing. <gasps> Stop! 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 It's no wonder your brother has been able to enter your mind from a great distance. Oh, so is that what that is what's happening? Your lack of control, you didn't even attempt to fight back. You never gave me a chance. Like, like literally, it's, we're, we're training in legitimacy. Neither will your enemies. I like I need to listen to Snape. Snape. Harry Potter. It's deeper, isn't it? It's deeper. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. You will need to defend your own mind. But first, you should learn to peer into others like yours. I will teach you everything there is to know about legitimacy. Teach me. Teach me it all, Snape. The sorting hat has been enchanted to use legitimacy. Nice little fact there. The Dillimans lets the caster see into the mind of another person. Accomplished legilimans need, need neither wand nor incantation. Right. Skills. Snape and Dumbledore been entering my mind from the beginning. I don't know. You generally need to be near the person whose mind you wish to enter. Not necessarily though, right? That's why Jake, Jacob can enter ours. Yep, we know the Sorting Hat. It's been enchanted. Anything new? No? No? Anything new, Snape? I'm just going to repeat these things over again 
so your stupid mind will remember. Now again. Yeah, that didn't happen so well. That's literally what I would be like in real life with a wand if somebody tried to attack me. I'd be like, I'd be dead by then. And let's face it, I'd be dead. Lo uh, use legitimacy on me, Hunter. Seriously? He is being serious. Right, you're always serious. <laughs> Legilimens. Oh, funky. It's a funky, like, pop. And then we're going inside the pot. Metaphorically is a metaphor for going inside your mind. Oh, oh, I'm getting something. I'm getting something, guys. I didn't see anything. <laughs> it, it, it didn't work. Just because you didn't see anything didn't, doesn't mean it didn't work. Now tell me, what do you think about legilimency? It's intrusive, it's useful, it's dangerous, it's very useful. I think it's incredibly useful. I communicate with my brother, know when someone is lying, even protect my friends. It's useful indeed for both good and evil. Go out and practice legilimency. I'm certain you'll need it to save your brother, if not yourself. Let's go practice. Ben! Ben! Oh, it's, it's Filch. We're practicing on Filch. What was he? You won't come tell me my fist now. <laughs> come in. Oh, uh, this is just, why is Filch getting it all that? No wonder Filch hates, like, everybody. We're literally fueling this cycle of hate students, students then practice pranks on him, furthers his hate for students, furthers our like, want to mess about with him. Right. Hiya. What do you want? Me and Mrs. Norris were just about to have a well-deserved kip. I, I just wanted to talk. A legitimate! <laughs> About what? About whatever's on your mind. <laughs> what? What are you do? What, what? Why are you casting a pot? What's happening? Why are you going inside that pot? Legilimens. Legilimens. Wait. I'm. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. What am I seeing? I, I, oh my god, I knew he loved Mrs. Norris, but, but wow. <laughs> oh my god. It's, oh god, she knows. Just what do you think you're doing? Nothing. Wow. Peach, Peach really doesn't like students. I'm almost afraid to... Oh, no, that's him. That's me. I'm almost afraid to see what goes in on in Filch's mind. I'm guessing that's what it said. So many memories of him polishing shackles. I can't enter Mrs. Norris's mind. Or she's doing something to stop me. I think Mrs. Norris is... Practiced in oculum, 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 So many people calling him a squib. Oh, so many bad memories of people calling him a squib. That's horrible. All right, it's all, all the same thing. Let's try again on Mrs. Norris. Maybe, maybe that'll work. Do, do you have to do this? Do you have to keep hold of your head like this? It's just helping me to focus. Almost there. Done. That was quite an experience. Wow. Wow. 
You lose legitimacy on me, didn't you? Yes, I'm practicing my abilities. Yes, I want to understand you better. No. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> legitimacy. That sounds like a made-up word. It means you're missing a bit in my brain. Try again, and I'll have you expelled like your brother. You hate students even more than I thought. I'll be sure never to trick you again. <laughs> again? Um, what? <laughs> what? You said you'd never trick me again. Just how many times have you tricked me? Lots of times. I've never tricked you. <laughs> That's not what I said. I didn't say I won't ever trick you again. I said I won't ever trick you and Ben. You know, my friend Ben Copper. <laughs> Why would you trick me in that mudblood? I wouldn't. That's why I said it. For no reason at all. Except that it needed to be said. You are someone you don't mess with. Mm. Stay out of my office, you filthy beast. <laughs> Stay out of my mind. Okay. To Ben! To Ben! Rose Murta. I don't want to practice on Rose Murta. Rose Murta is a, a good friend of mine. Like Filch. I want to, I want to look inside Ben's mind. Right? Where are we going? Rose Murta. Three broomsticks. We're not going to meet Penny yet. It's going to be a separate episode. Right, Rose Murta. What's going on? Oh, oh, Bilbo, Bilton. <laughs> if I could invent my own joke products, I could open my own shop. Yeah, Bilton, you have your own shop. It's called Zonko's. Madman. Nice one, Shiny. I might ask Rake Pete to buy up mine too, right? <laughs> like, this terrible wand, and then I got this cool upgrade. Is that? When we will duel again, will we? Duel again, Shiny. My wand is ready. Hmm. When you could become better, maybe. Shiny, what brings you back to the three broomsticks? I'm practicing legitimacy. I'm thirsty for butter beer. I'm curious about my brother. I'm not going to deceive her. I'm practicing legitimacy. I found out I'm an illeg. I'm a blah 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 blah. blah. I'm a legitimacy. So I'm trying to master it. Just like your brother, eh? I suppose it runs in the family. You knew my brother was a legilimens? Of course. I even let him use legilimensy on me to prove I wasn't lying once, when he was feeling especially paranoid. Would, would you let me use legilimensy on you? If you think it will help you find your brother. Besides, I have nothing to hide. Guys! Those with the theory of Rizmurta, potentially we are going to find out what's really going on. But if you watched my video on legitimacy, we might not. We'll get to that in a minute. So, legilimens. Oh, this is a very long legilimens. Right, what's in her mind? Jacob came back here even after he was expelled. Wait. Madame Rose Murta hid my brother from the ministry. Oh, so she was helping him. That is the way I stare at someone just before we duel or kiss. Yeah, really not helping. I'm trying to concentrate, Diego. Shani is staring at Madame Rose Murta like she stole something. Mm. <laughs> this is quite an intense staring contest. I'll challenge the winner. No, Bill, and I'm not reading your size, your mind. I, I think you think if you read his mind, you'd go crazy. I don't know if let Jacob stay here when he had nowhere else to go. I'm, I'm thinking, maybe, let me know if you see where I left my glasses. <laughs> yep, yeah, head brother. I think everything's the same. Wow, Madame Rose Murta had to throw a lot of people out of this pub. Rake pick. What other secrets does Madame Rose Murta know about my brother? Right, we've learned all we can learn about her. I'm pretty safe in the knowledge that she... Right, this is one of the things that obviously if you watch the video you realise that legitimacy is not a foolproof way to, to understand what somebody's thinking. 
if you are trained in occlumency, 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 can't remember, yeah, that, then you have the ability to show somebody's your select thoughts. You can actually say, all right, I'm going to only show you this. It's occlumency. occlumency. Yeah, so she could be just showing us select memories and hiding the ones that we really don't want to see. See anything helpful? You hid my brother from the ministry. You let him stay here when he had nowhere to go. Not too loud, dear. You aren't inside my mind anymore. Why, why didn't you tell me? It didn't seem important. Anyone would have done the same if they knew your brother like I did. I don't even know if they would. That was incredibly brave and kind. Thank you, Madame Rosmerta. Or she's deceiving us because she was like, Oh, come hide here, Jacob. It's fine. And then, hello? Is that the, 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 the cabal? Yes, Jacob's here. Pfft, Jacob's gone. Maybe. Don't thank me, Shiny. Just keep practicing so you can bring Jacob home where he belongs. Mm. She's very smiley. Always be wary of somebody with a, a big smile. Meet me in the kitchen's full detention, Shiny Hunter. It's Pitts. Mr. Pitts. Is, Mr. Pitts. It's just basically the same voice as, as Filch. Right. Hello, goblins. Gob <laughs> Sorry. It's like that awkward thing when you like, hey, somebody, and you, like, you say the wrong name. Hey, ourselves. Is it true that a chimera is on the loose? I mate, mean, that was last year. That was true last year. God. But it is still on the loose. Sorry. Yeah. We should talk about a shipment of certain something I'll be bringing in soon. Okay. I'm curious. Wait. Does anybody notice that Jay has got a black quill on him? Jay? Wanna, wanna explain why you're writing with a black quill? Hmm. Is it true that you can read mine, Shiny Hunter? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> All right, Pitts, you're late, Shiny Hunter. I'm sorry, Pitts. I was making my way to Hogs way back from Hogsmeade. No excuses. Get to work before Pitts is stuck with you forever, just like your friend Jay Kim. Why are you always so angry? What does Shiny Eight Hunter think? There's only one way to know for sure. It's quite a, a long little show at the start of it for tracing it. There's only one way to find out. A legilimens. <gasps> oh my god, we're going to find out why he's so angry. What? What is there? Pitt's former master gave him away for next to nothing. That's kind of sad. His former master tested spells and potions on him. And legitimacy. Oh, God. <laughs> I wonder who put Pitt's in charge. Pitt's former master used to call him terrible names. I feel bad. His former master tested potions on him. What else? I would never stare into Pete's eyes for that long. He'll, he'll do nasty things. Terrible things. <laughs> he does terrible things to me. I thought Pitts was just angry. Shiny, hun Shiny Hunter can't do anything to that Pitts. I missed that. Sorry, I was, I was too paying attention to what the, the house elf had to say about him. Oh, yes, well, terrible things. <laughs> he does terrible things to me. He, he's a terrible master to have. He is, I've been standing on this chair for years. You'll be able to come back next time and I bet I'll be standing in this chair. We'll look out for him in the future. That stall, maybe not. I'm looking for a stall. I thought the pits was angry, but he's just hurt. Oh, God. It just hurt us so sad. 
Feel bad if I do that one. I'm not, not too happy about that one. You feel better after messing around pits his head. No. I feel terrible. I can't believe your former master treated you like that. You get used to it. You shouldn't have to. Now you know why Pitts wants to work in the kitchens at Hogwarts. Why Pitts wants to do a good job. I think I understand more about you than I ever thought I would. Good for Shawnee Hunter. Now get to work. <sighs> Sorry, Pitts. Uh, Barnaby's calling. <laughs> meet me, meet me in the Hogshead Inn. Shawnee, it's really dirty. <laughs> Oh, I'm looking forward to reading Barnaby's mind. I'm going to split this into a double double episode because there's 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 plenty 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 left to do in the seven part five six seven. We'll have three in the next one. So we are practicing legilimens, becoming a better legilimens in the process. I think with all this learning to read people's mind and getting a bit of information that we haven't had before. Obviously, Rose Myrtle was quite a good one. Barnaby, I predict, will just be like, ah, uh, like creatures. Repeating, probably, those will be the thoughts that we'll get from him. And then two more people, and I really want to interview, I want to see the memories of Ben, and I want to do Rowan. Let me know who you want to see get done. Who do you want to see most? If you can use Legilimens on any character in the game right now, who would you pick to use it on? Let me know in the comment section below. That's all for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all for me. See you guys soon.